Fossils and there were travel mum at da a dying casia a newly constructed headquarters complex. Yeah, what they a mass sixty four infantry regiment for yeah, yeah, I mean special operations brigade for a D say one year no one for year one more headquarters are about boa a ma a sledge more for ye will do my dear aqua jojo. Sad dying casia, yes, see a f and no a ya bear for quansu or no CEO. Yeah, what that omni group of companies are no or uh, michael zomelo and i will see yet this year at chadia what they are going to arm forces form will be able to cry and i will try to remember what did that sound office complex he had in it is an act of great honor for me to be called upon on an occasion like this to give this address to such an august body as the Ghana armed forces and this I do for and on behalf of Mr. Michael Zomelo, the Chief Executive Officer of the Omni Group of Companies, who for reasons beyond his control cannot join us here this morning in person. Yet we believe he's here in spirit. My name is Kofi Annan Dennis the general manager of the Omni Group of Companies. As part of our commitment to supporting economic development and sustainability of our communities in Ghana, we as Omni Group have come to understand the important role security plays in providing an enabling environment for attracting investment into the country and for businesses to thrive. Thus, apart from being a symbol of unity and peace in the country, the Ghana Armed Forces also plays a very crucial role in the economic well-being of our people and the proper functioning of institutions in ensuring peace, order, and security. In keeping faith with our commitment to provide support towards the effective strengthening of the Ghana Armed Forces for the effective execution of their mandate, the Omni Group of Companies, through one of its subsidiaries, Muset Engineering Limited, which specializes in civil works and construction, deemed it fit to marshal resources, to put up a stretcher that could house the administrative headquarters of the 64 Infantry Regiment, a special wing of the Ghana Armed Forces in the Southern Command. Ebra Chief of Defense Staff. Vice Marshal said, Amwama, eh, Kasanum, what churn and Niswa are so pan say, a year or many group of companies if what can't go see you, or Michael Zomelo, a trimier sand, do ye ye ama a sled, Jumano, was saying, Way a ya dear, what they a share a sled, Juma, and Nate, Mamu for I uncle for a day one ten no can a pa, was a sand office complex, you know, a bab wa pam won't you made dear Acoso, and never pin wo ya, a day being so can want a ne, Nanka, a year sixty four infantry regiment if we a perche, a one moon we are no man can be and che and so ne, one more to me and one office complex are, a friend near more dear, one more a yam, was a and che, face two so a babbish as ye, yet yes, and your chin cinema. And very senior officers here present. It's very good to see all of you. I haven't seen most of you for some time, but it's quite refreshing to see you and to see that you are all looking good. 
the deputy chief of staff at me at the general headquarters formation commanders directors general directors past commanding officers the commanding officer lieutenant colonel frank kwesi ajeman and other commanding officers senior officers the chief executive officer of omni group of company who is unfortunately not here with us but is ably represented other chief executive officers present officers are distinguished friends of the regiment regimental sergeant majors soldiers, civilian staff of 64 Infantry Regiment, friends of the media fraternity, invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I must say that I am particularly delighted to participate in this event where one of the finest units of the Ghana Armed Forces is chalking this feat by commissioning this beautiful edifice which is going to serve as a regimental headquarters. Infrastructural development is a focus of the government to ensure that the necessary baseline facilities are in place to propel development. Additionally, a good working environment in terms of office space and accommodation are critical requirements for the efficient functioning of the Ghana Armed Forces. The expansion of the Ghana Armed Forces calls for a corresponding adequate office space and accommodation for personnel. To address this, the government of Ghana over the years has made efforts to bridge this gap through provision of infrastructure for the Ghana Armed Forces. And in support of the government's efforts, the Military High Command continues to embark on public-private partnership as a way of easing the burden in the short term. And I am particularly elated that 64 Infantry Regiment, through this strategy, with the support of a very patriotic Ghanaian, specially committed friend of the Ghana Armed Forces, Mr. Michael Zomelo, and some other partners have been able to build this edifice to enhance administration and operations of the unit. Such public-private partnership bolsters civil-military cooperation and indicate a strong civilian goodwill towards the military, which must be strengthened. Let me take this opportunity to commend highly the Chief of the Army Staff, who through his special initiative and vision has seen to the completion of a 100-bed young soldiers accommodation for the 64 Infantry Regiment. <laughs> this has been possible through the Army's internally generated funds. It is on record the 64 Infantry Regiment, which started as a force reserve battalion, has always shared office space with 153 Armored Regiment. Indeed, 153 Armored Regiment has been the landlord of 64 Infantry Regiment. The unit built itself this headquarters and has sent a signal or made it known that from today 
it has ceased to pay rent to the 153 Amor Regiment. I'm therefore grateful and excited that this facility is being named or has been named after Brigadier General George Partington, a pioneer of this regiment. I endorse the naming, knowing very well his telling contribution towards the formation of the 64 Infantry Regiment. I am happy that his hard work, dedication, exemplary leadership, among others, have not been in vain, have been recognized, and he's being celebrated today. This gives hope. This gives us hope for the future and serves as a compass to motivate professionalism among all personnel. On that note, I wish to commend all ranks and civilian employees of the Ghana Armed Forces for our collective effort in supporting the government to address the accommodation challenges facing the Armed Forces. I also extend my congratulations to the current and past commanding officers and the entire 64 fraternity for pushing to make this dream come true. My deepest gratitude goes to Mr. Michael Zomelo and his company, as well as all other private partners who contributed to this magnificent project. It is my hope that a good relationship that exists between the military and private partners will be strengthened for our mutual benefit. Once again, thank you for the great work and may God bless us all. I thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, sir. For your in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.